a little late, frankly, for the Happy New Year's, you know? Why? Just happened a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, that's too long. Uh, statute of limitations is kind of run out on the New Year's. Three days. Plenty. Three days. By the way, everything doesn't have to be happy. What are you doing? I'm, <laughs> I'm working out. Working out? Yeah. You, you're jostling the fetus. You can't, you can't run in your condition. Uh, yes, I can. I was advised by my midwife that I should continue to work out. Maybe you want to consult your blacksmith, see what he has to say about it. Okay. I don't uh, want to get into it with you, but um, my fetus, my problem, okay? I pity that fetus. Mm. It's a little soft. What, the scone? Yeah, scones are supposed to be hard. This is like a muffin. Well, n not really. It's supposed to be fresh. Yeah, fresh hard. Well, that's a fresh scone. I'm not quite sure you know where the scone is, Mocha Joe. Oh, I know what a scone is. Do you? Yeah. You may have a looser definition of scone than I do. I don't think it's really open to interpretation, though. Check out this table. Yeah? <laughs> it's a what? You got a wobbly table here. Yeah, well, stop moving it. Stop moving it? It's a, every time I, 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 I lean on it, it's going to move. Well, put your foot on it like everybody else does. I'm going to sit with my foot on the table? Yeah, that's how you hold it down. The floor's a wobbly. Mocha Joe, can I give you a little advice? Yeah. Nobody likes a wobbly table. Fastest way to lose customers is with wobbly tables. This is cold coffee. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. That coffee is not cold. So you're no. not going to give me a new cup? No, because that's a hot cup of coffee. It was hot when I gave it to that's you. That's a hot cup of coffee? It's a hot cup of coffee. It was hot when would I gave it to you. Would you stick your nose in a hot cup of coffee? Why would you stick your nose yes, in a I cup of coffee? I want to prove to you that it's cold coffee. Watch this. That's cold coffee. That doesn't prove anything it except does. that you're an old, bald nut. Your dog? Bogey. He's eating out of my bowl. Oh, I just got that bowl from the kitchen. I thought it was an office bowl. It's an office bowl for humans, not for dogs. I mean, I wash it at the end of the day with soap and then I dry no, it. No, that's and... not enough. It needs to be sterilized. I can't, I can't share a bowl with a dog. Is that new? Relatively. All right, what, what the hell is that? Why is one eye closed? Huh? What is all that? Oh, it's kind of personal. I don't, I don't share it with everybody. Yeah, it's very personal. The whole world can see it, but it's personal. Well, it's on my body. Okay, okay. Hey, let me ask you something, okay? If I walked in here with a horn on my head, would you say, what are you doing with your horn on your head? I'd say, oh, I can't tell you, it's personal. I got the tattoo because of an event in my life, and it means something special to me. It's a reminder of that to me. It's just for me. Really? Then why didn't you put it on your ass? There's an initial and a date and, I think, three signatures. May I? Oh, what are you doing? That's my shirt. Well, I was cleaning my glasses. You can't clean your glasses with a shirt that I'm wearing while I'm wearing it. It's inappropriate. It's crossing a boundary. No good? No good. Hmm. Okay. I am extremely Ooh. displeased with your behavior. Ladies and gentlemen, the 16th president of these United States, yeah, I, Abraham I Lincoln. Fine. Let's give him a big round of like applause. Like you know anything it about It is such fashion. an honor to be standing near you, Mr. President. This hat is very similar to the one that Kate Middleton wore, OK? Oh, oh really? You yeah. don't know shit. I no. know you look ridiculous. How yeah, about that? Fine. What are you doing here? You said you were going to boycott this place. I am boycotting this place. Oh, this is a boycott? Sitting here drinking coffee? That's a boy. That's quite a boycott. I told you, for the rest of my dying days, I will never come to this place with you. Ever. That's not what you said. No, I said I you would... You said you're boycotting this place and you're never coming back here. You didn't say with me. I can do whatever the fuck I want alone, but with you, no. I will never come in here. I swear on my life. Who the fuck needs you I for will... a boycott if I'm boycotting already? You said you're boycotting, but you didn't boycott. Are you done? I, I don't understand. I still... <laughs> I don't understand you. This coffee, by the way, is unbelievable. It's fantastic. Is it hot? It's very hot. Let me see that. Hey, don't touch my thing. No, no, don't touch it. Hey, stop it. What are you, a fucking goose? I just need you to please go tell Andy and Cassie the truth about this. I'll consider it. Look, can I give you a little tip? If you're going to confront somebody and ask them to do something like this, it's better to do it with pants on. The shorts. This is the required uniform for a postman. And the socks, too? That's part of it? The black socks? Yes. Post office issued socks, yes. How many pairs of shorts do they give you? Listen, 
you don't want to go to something, don't go, but don't hide behind the U.S. Postal Service. It's hard to take a person seriously wearing shorts. I'm at work doing work. This is my work I'm uniform. I'm confronting you, you. I'm giving you... Excuse me one second. I was giving you a good tip. Good advice. Take the call. I'm giving you good advice. Three days now, I've gotten the results back from my cancer test. Not one of you bothered to call me and ask me if I got the results back. Not one. And by the way, I did, and I'm fine, okay? Skyler had this paper due for social studies. It was on Cuba. And we were, we were very immersed in it. I'm sorry. He's been working right. with her nonstop. And, and, and I, 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 I honestly planned on it, but I, I, I planned on it. I ain't gonna lie, man. I fucking forgot. What kind of friends are you? Seriously, what kind of friends are you? But you're fine, right? Yeah, I'm fine. You know what? You can all go fuck yourself. Hey, no eating. worries. And, oh, oh. Just, uh, yeah. What? Now I have a half-eaten apple in my uh, basket here. Where, 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 where are you supposed to put it? It's a garbage. It's a garbage can. Larry, it's not a garbage can. That's a that's it's an unlined receptacle that's sitting next to a desk. Yes, for garbage. It's for paper. It's not a lined How garbage. How am I supposed to can. know it's for paper? If I see a garbage can, I throw I throw garbage in there. It's really, it's for paper. It's not. Uh... Yeah, this is the oddest office. You have fruit that's not for eating. You have garbage that's not for garbage, and you have a bathroom that nobody can use. It's unbelievable. What is this? And it's what? The sweater. You're wearing the sweater? It's a gift. I told you before. I didn't want to see it anymore. It's a, it has painful memories for me. So take it off. What kind of gift is that? It's a, I, 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 I'll wear whatever I want. It's mine now. Yes, it's selfish. It's very selfish. selfish. You gave me an espresso machine from Rome. I'm okay. going to throw it yeah. out. OK, take off that sweater. I'm not taking it off. It's yeah. mine. I, I can do what the fuck I, I want, want to take off that fucking sweater. What are you out of your mind? Hey, get the fuck out. Hey, get out of here. Hey, get, hey, get, hey, 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 get the fuck out of here. What the hell is this? This sweater, what, what, what are you doing? Isn't it nice? OK, take it off, OK? I want you to take it off. What are you talking about? I don't want you to wear that sweater. Why? Because Cheryl gave it to me. I gave mine to Richard because I didn't want to be reminded of it. And I, now you're reminding me of it. I'm not taking this off. Take it off. It goes with all my pants. It's yes. great. Sexy. Take it off. What are you doing here? Sorry. I'd like to talk to you about this. OK, what about it? This is the doodle you give me for charity? Yeah. It's terrible, Larry. We can't use this. You said it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's a doodle. No, this is a doodle. This is Christine Lottie. That's a doodle? That's a doodle. Okay. This is beautiful. That is not a doodle. That is a work of art, OK? You know what? This is going to get so much so money. So much money. This, this one. Is a nickel? Honest I'll give you two First pence. You're holding it the right way. You hold it like this, OK? Oh, oh, that's so much better. Let's get it framed. Yeah, you know, it could be anything. It could be a roller coaster. It could be a shoe. It could, could be a large intestine. You got to think a little oh, bit. Oh, I'm thinking, you know what it is? It's what you find in a large intestine. That's what that is. Oh, my gosh. It's a well, piece of shit. I'm the only one who followed instructions out of everybody on this wall. There's uh, no, no think... doodles here. OK, did you put any effort into it? I put the same amount of effort I put into the doodle as I would if I was talking on the phone doodling, which is to say none. <laughs> Hello, Laverne. It is so good to meet you. I have a cold. You have a cold. I only get you thick. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I need your weights, by the way. What do you mean? For the plane. You fucking kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. It's I'm a safety issue. You the weight. This is a regulation. This is. Hey, a... Ask Jeff if he'll give you his weight. You're not gonna give me your weight? She doesn't even know how much I weigh. My weight? My business? I don't want your weights. The captain wants them. Later. We're gonna have to make an unscheduled landing. Why? What? Something's Why? wrong. What's what happening? Nothing's wrong with the plane. We're just heavy. I don't know why you assholes couldn't give me your weight. <laughs> Do you happen to have an extra toothbrush by any chance? We do have an extra toothbrush. You have an extra toothbrush. Fantastic. I can't believe it. That's so great. I'm sorry, I misspoke. It's for us. Wh what do you mean? I have an emergency. It's an emergency. I don't have a toothbrush. But that's your emergency. This is for in case we have an emergency. You're not going to have an emergency. What makes you think you're going to have a toothbrush emergency? Look at you. You're having an emergency right Mine's now. Mine's a fluke. You have, it's a fluke emergency. This whole emergency. thing makes me nervous, Larry. It's a fluke emergency. It's toothbrush emergency. emergency. It's one in a million. You're probably right. I won't have a toothbrush emergency. And you know why I know that? Because I have a goddamn extra toothbrush. Fuck you, Mickey. Housekeeping called, and they took care of that stain. No problem for you. Very good. It's already charged to your bill, so you don't have to worry about it. Did you say they, you said they put it on my bill? Yes. They uh, charged what? it to the room. 
How much am I being charged? Uh, $250. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I called you up. I told you about the stain. Yes, sir, we thank you. How are you thanking me? By charging me $250? That's not thanking. Oh, no, we're fixing it for you. What do I care if your couch is fixed? Suppose I walked into the room and saw the stain on the couch and called you up and said there's a stain on the couch. Would you charge me? No. Don't you see what's wrong here? You're punishing me for being honest. I didn't have to tell you. You shouldn't have. I don't give a shit about the couch. What do you think about that? I'm never coming back here again. No, put your world up to. Where's that store? Oh, it's downtown, Plaza del Manuel. And the carnival? Same place. Is it fun? It's fun. Thank you. You son of a bitch. You've been sleeping with Cheryl. No. Oh, God. You bring me all the way down here, you're sleeping with your ex-wife? Uh, no, not last night. Earlier. Earlier? What? So it's true? Eh? Oh, you son of a bitch. You know something. Oh, Scott! Oh, you. Oh, you. Larry! Oh, my God! Oh, oh, you oh, what the fuck, fuck are you doing? Oh, Cut it out! Oh, 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 shit! Oh, what the fuck, Larry? Sasha, oh my god, you all right? I mean, seriously, what the fuck is your problem? This is why you don't invite divorced couples to a wedding, Mickey. You have any problem if we turn on the heat lamp? She's very cold. We're hot over here. Yeah, we're we're fine. good here. It's okay. It feels great. You know, the heat lamp's from both tables. Well, we have seven. Well, but we have seven people here, yeah, and we're fine, three. and you have You're three people voted. there. Yeah, I, I, I know, but she's cold, and it's worse to be cold than, than hot. No, it's actually it's worse to be hot than cold. How do you figure? Because when you're cold, you can put more things on. When you're hot, you can only take so much off. OK, well, that's a good point if there are more things to put on. But there aren't more things to put on. Here, okay. everywhere that. Oh, that's funny, cut. asshole. There. If we're not snowmen, we need some heat. Hey, Clive. Uh, you know, I, I want to apologize if um, my my voicemail, my message uh, offended you in any way. I'm not good at voicemails. The weird thing is, you know, if you go and see a play and you don't like it, you kind of don't leave a message, do you? No, but I did like it. I, I that's, really? that's yes. Hi, this is Larry David. I just want to say I really enjoy the show. Good job. Yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm not good with that. If it was in person, I would have been much more effusive. Really? Yeah. So. I mean, it's hard to do now because you know it's 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 like doing an impression for somebody. It's hard to just do it on command. It was so moved, Clive. The pathos of this character. The triumph and the, the disgrace of, of his. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's unbelievable. This mess list, best, the best. So you do do praise, wow. just not for me. You know, that, that kind of thing, that's not for people. That's for sandwiches, a, a well struck iron, good golf shot. Do you know what it takes? Stand up there for 90 minutes on your own, one man play. One wonders why somebody would do it. Is he for real? I really got to see you do your thing. Mm -hmm. And the more I watched you, the more I'm convinced that what you did at the table at lunch that day was total bullshit. Wow. Your mother didn't fall into the subway tracks. That's a cock and bull story if I ever heard one. Give me the stole back. You're just what? being rude. Give me the stole. No. Hey! 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 What's the problem? What's going on? He gave me this stole. Oh. My mother passed away, and this stole reminds me of her. And this is all okay, I've got. You see, this is this the is same the story. To she told me the same story about uh, about being uh, in the subway. Uh, uh, but she uh, took that stole from me. That's my mother's stole. She, I inherited that stole. She gave it to me. Stole to me. And I was so bad. Hey, 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 God. hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stole. Hey, 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 what are, what are you doing? Crying? No, that's crying. That's not crying. I'm crying! 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 i am i People come in to use my son's store here. My son Joseph owns the store, so you really can't park there. So you're Mocha Joe's mom? Yeah, yeah, my name's Jane. You can't park here because it's handicapped. You know what, Mocha Jane? There are no spaces in this lot. But I just have to go into my store and drop this off. What is this world coming to? I'm having 
a surprise party for Jeff for his birthday. People hate surprise parties. No, no, no. no. You, maybe. No, everybody, everybody I know loves everybody. a surprise party. Oh, that's fun? Yes. That's fun. Ah! Nobody's doing ah! Ah! Yeah. He's going to be thrilled. The guy's got a heart condition. We go to the same cardiologist, Dr. Holzer. Oh, that okay? One. Yeah. Surprises are, are dangerous. He'll be thrilled with it. He's yeah. gonna love every minute of it. Yeah. Surprise! He'll be happy! He'll be happy. He'll be dead. Surprise! <laughs> I want to have it. He's gonna love it, and we're having it, okay? <laughs> Hi. Hey. Why did you pass me? Well, I calculated your speed, my speed, the distance, my average urination time, and according to my calculations, I would have had to wait three to four minutes, whereas you only had to wait 12 to 15 seconds. I think it was the right move. Really? Yeah. It's inconsiderate. Uh, you should have moved over to the right to let me pass. You should have given me one of these. You no, know. you've got to wait. You're blocking traffic. You're in the slow car. You've got to let the fast cars through. No, you've got to respect the car in the front. I think you have bad walker etiquette. You're a hallway hog. I didn't hog the hallway. Oh. Hello. Hello. Do you have an appointment? I don't have an appointment. Do you need to see the doctor? Uh-uh. Can I ask what you're doing? I'm just between appointments. I needed somewhere to wait, and this is a waiting room. You're just using this waiting room? To wait. That's not done. This is an establishment. It's a, it's a business. And you know what? My presence here is helping business. You go in a restaurant, you see nobody in there, you don't think it's any good. When you see people there, you think it's good. Same thing with the doctor's office. <laughs> Wally, can you speed this up a bit? I mean, you, you drive as slow as you as you walk without walker. Oh, thank you. That's not a compliment. Look, look at this. The truck is passing you on the right lane. You're so slow. There's a whole all those horns. They're, they're beeping you. I don't think it's me. Who, who do you think the honks are for? Each other. I don't even know how you ever got a license. Oh, it was pretty easy. I mean, I studied up for it, and I went to the DMV, and I signed up. Went home, waited for my appointment, and then... Yeah, took, I don't need all the details of, took of that the, particular day in your life. I'll too. spare you all the details, spare, but I spare sat... Spare me, spare me. Go ahead, yeah. And I sat with the instructor. Okay, I you explained. just said you were sparing me the details, but you're not sparing. I'm skipping over a lot of stuff. Good day, sir. How are you? Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I don't mean to be rude, but would you mind just leaving for a, a couple of minutes? Leave? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I got a big job to do, and, and, and I can't do my job if you're doing your job. No, I'll be quiet. No problem. No, it's not a question of that. You're here. I need privacy. I need distance. I need to be alone. People may be here to you know, take care of business. No, no, they don't need you here. This is not a job for human beings to be here when other people are going to the bathroom. Nobody wants you here. Everybody's disappointed when they walk in here. They don't want to see you. I'm sorry to say. With all due respect, people come in here with bad breath. I got, I got mouthwash. People come in here, you know, look, I need a little spruce up. I got cologne here. They would gladly sacrifice the gum, the cologne, the mints, anything you have here for some privacy. <laughs> Hello. We have a beautiful table for you right by the window. Right, uh, Mr. David, how are you? I'm, I'm swell. Wonderful. Yeah, so uh, you were about to say? We have a beautiful table for you uh, right back there. You're about to see her over there. I, I, yes, but that's a table for one. Table for one? I, I don't get that. What's the difference between a table for one and a table for two? One person. That's so interesting. It is. Yeah. All right, so I think I get the way it works here. If it's 50-50, uh -huh. one good-looking and one ugly, both go to the ugly. Is that how it works? Because in baseball, a tie goes to the runner. Here, a tie goes to the ugly. Mr. David, I really do not see a difference between the good-looking 
and the ugly. Are you saying to me that you're going to put this beautiful woman into that section? Is that what you're going to do? She, she doesn't belong there. Yeah, sure, put me there. I get it, okay? But come on. Larry, a table anywhere is fine. No, no, it's not fine. It's not fine. Look what's going on over there. Take a look. Oh, my God. If you ever do come back, we have some beautiful tables over there. A few days before Carl died, mm -hmm. we played golf. And yeah. uh, it was me and Jeff against Carl and Lewis. And I have found out subsequently mm -hmm. that Lewis was using an illegal putter. So, you know, I feel like that $500 that I gave Carl was, yeah. uh, was taken under false pretenses. Okay. Why are you telling me this? I just feel I'm owed that money. The man is dead. Yeah. He can't pay you back. Right, but... Are you asking me to pay you $500? No, no, no the, the estate. The estate is me, Larry. Huh. I don't know why you're asking this now. You know, I just feel like I was cheated out of a win. Get the fuck out, Larry. <laughs> Becky, my sister, uh -huh. is selling that house we bought her. Really? And what's really interesting is it's appreciated because that section of town is Fantastic. like- Fantastic! Yeah. Make a little dough! Becky's gonna make some money. What do you mean she'll make some money? I bought the house. We bought the house. Okay, yeah, okay. And we gave we it- We bought the house. As okay. a gift. A gift? It wasn't a gift for her to sell and make money. It was a gift for her to live in. You gave it to her. It was yeah. a gift. You... I didn't give her the house that she could sell it. What if she sold it in three days? She, was she be allowed to keep the money? She's flipping she's houses now? She's been there now? for 15 yeah, years. 15 it's not exactly years. a flip. So she's going to sell it and make this tremendous profit and get everything? <laughs> Did you have sex with my sister Becky? God. What? What I, are you I, thinking? I was there, and she was uh, she she was upset. And she was sobbing, and I, and I had consoled her, and and you know it just it happened. That's yeah, what why. about the money? I told her uh, she didn't have to uh, share the money with me. Oh my God, that's that's like prostitution. Well, well, it was consensual sex oh between two adults. There's Jesus nothing wrong with that, God. as far as I know. Oh you marched over there, you got a fucking blowjob, and then you gave the house away. Sorry. You you crossed the line this time. You crossed the line. Oh I didn't God. cross the line. I went over the line that you already crossed. Oh, He's oh, a friend. Oh, I'm sorry, Tad okay. and Larry. It's yeah. just like you and your sister. It's yeah. the same thing. It's pretty no close. Way it is close. not close. It is close. She slept with my friend Ted Danson. Okay, okay. that's fine. Different. But I can't sleep with her sister. It feels like the same thing. It's the because same. Ted is like a sister to Larry. Yeah. I'm irked because. With all due respect, John is here, and Michelle is... You wouldn't let Michelle come to dinner. I have to watch my P's and Q's. I, she's so angry at me that I had to you know, make an excuse. Oh, what did you say? I said you had a bleeding rectum and that you, you were worried and scared and you needed to talk to me alone and you'd be embarrassed if she heard it. Are you out of your fucking mind? Well, you couldn't think of a better excuse than that? You should call me. I got thousands of them. I can't even face her now. Why not? Nobody respects a person with a bleeding rectum. You think Lincoln could have prosecuted a war if people knew he had a bleeding rectum? And by the way, when you come to the dinner party in a few days, I would not mention it. Who mentions that at a dinner party? Do I still have it, or, or am I over it? No, I left it open. We ordered this kind of for the table, and I feel like you've gone way over your appetizer allotment at this point. My allotment? Well, there's three of us. We each get a third. Who makes up that fucking rule? It's, it's an, an unwritten, unwritten rule. rule. Oh, my God. There's two Larry Davids. Holy shit. What are you doing? I'm turning the Lazy Susan the way it should be turned. In order. No, 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 no. A Lazy Susan oh. is like a roundup. Can you please not use that term? Lazy Susan. It's got racist and sexist connotations, and I'd really prefer you just not call it that. Whoa. Lazy Susan? Yes. Who is that racist toward? Susan's? That's what crazy. Where'd you get that? You're right. You know what? It should be. We should we should definitely start using the ambitious Susan. Yes, yes. Please spin the indefatigable Susan. Oh, can we have the multifaceted Susan my way, please? Yeah, yeah. spin the industrious Susan. Ooh, can you spin ambidextrous Susan? Oh, please? the ambidextrous yes, Susan. Both ways. Yes, both no, ways. so funny. You want it? You want it? You want it? Stop it. Whoa! What did you do? What? I, I didn't what do What did you do? Oh, she spun the thing, the thing around like that. Yeah, she's yeah, you, you are doing, Larry? You did I don't give a shit. I want you out.
out. You kicking me out? Yeah, and you, Larry David Jr., you can go too. You kicking me out? Yes, John Ham. Hey, you can kick me out. Look at that. Hey. Out. All right. All right. I need you to do me a favor. Actually, do Leon a favor. He needs somebody to fill in for him at the newsstand. I already got my sweats on. So what? Yeah, well, once I got my sweats on, there's no going back. Uh, I got my sweats on. What is it, an immutable law of physics? Once you're in sweats, you can't get out? Newton's law of sweats? It's Jeff Green's law of day over. Listen, I'd really appreciate it. I'm in my sweats! I missed my flight to Denver. Sorry. Oh, because you wouldn't get out of your sweatpants. Suppose it was an emergency. Then what? You take the sweatpants off? Well, what kind of an emergency? Sorry about the whole incident. I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah I, I, didn't, I didn't certainly mean to get you fired. You could have just eaten the soup. Really? With your sweat and the soup? I wouldn't even eat my own sweat. Huh? It's just... One drop of sweat is like plutonium. You would eat my sweat if I dripped sweat in your soup? I don't know it, but to be polite, it's like, I don't know. I'd like eat your good. sweat to be polite? If I had a girlfriend, my wife, my ex-wife, if she came and served me some soup and sweat in the soup, I'm not, I'm not gonna eat the soup. Maybe that's why you don't have a girlfriend or a wife. Oh, really? You think the majority of people who are in relationships want to eat sweat soup? If your girlfriend accidentally sweat in your soup, it would be insulting to not eat it. That would be a deal breaker for me. You can't sweat in food. It's, just, it's like, it's on the list of rules for waitress. Yeah. Don't sweat in food. Okay. Sometimes I like a black, and then I'll go weeks with only wanting red. No. And then I switch back to black. You know, Mr. David. Oh. What a surprise. Hello. What's the problem? today. Another mysterious odor, possibly a uh, sound like a snake. No. 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 Actually. Yes. Looking for a new car. Well, why don't you head on over there where the cars are? You know what? I know where the cars are. You don't fool me, Mr. David. You're not here to buy a car. Well, you are mistaken, OK? I am here to buy a new car. Am I not buying a yeah, car? What is what? I don't believe you for a second. Oh, you don't? That is correct. I'm buying a car. Oh, really? You're buying a car? Uh, yes, I am. Which one? Which one? Yeah, which one? Which one? That one. Yeah, that one. You're buying that one? Yeah, I'm buying that one. The I-8? Yeah. Yeah. That's a top of the line car. That's why I'm buying it. You can drive that off a lot right now. OK, I will. Get the paperwork. I want it fully loaded. Great choice. Good. I'm not getting a new car, huh? Larry, he bought it. He totally thinks you're buying a new car. I am buying a new car. Really? Who do you think he is? You can't talk to me like that. Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come on. Yeah. Larry? Are you kidding? You came out of nowhere. I came out of, You were on your cell phone. Larry, you just went right through. I know exactly what happened. I saw it. I looked at you. You were texting. Somebody beeped you. You had beep panic. You threw the phone away. Look, there's your phone right in the front seat. You threw it down. And you're, you were playing Candy Crush. I've done it myself. I just had beat panic the other day. Uh, fine. They scared me behind me. Of and course. I, and I, I know. Went. I know okay. how it works. So, okay. okay. So we've both done it. I see it. I get it. All right. Okay. I guess that, um, I mean, we should exchange information. What are you talking about? Well, it's all my information. Anyway, look at this. Nothing's wrong with this car. There's a little dent in the bumper, but this is bad. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? I'm going to call the uh, tow company. I'll get the new one towed, and, and then I'll... I'll, you know, I'll take you home. Your car is the one that's being towed. How are you going to drive me home? I'll drive you home in, in my car. This is my car. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. This I is my, you just gave me car. this car. Yes, I gave it to you with very good intentions until you wrecked my car. I you can't, gave me the car, serious? so it's my car. Are you serious? What? Can you just give away cars and take them back? Oprah doesn't just give out cars and then take them back. Does that seem fair to you like that? I gave you a car, you hit my new car, and now I don't have a car. That seems fair? I, I don't know what is fair. What's no. fair is for things to go back to the way with, the way they well, were 15 minutes ago. Well, I didn't have a car I, 15 when I had minutes a car. ago, and now I do. Well, I would love to give you a ride home. I would love to give you a ride home. Well, how are you going to do that without a car, Larry? <sighs> Please take me home. OK. Thank you. Mm hmm? How's the coffee? It's good. It's good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. good. You know, it's interesting, because uh, I was in my car earlier, and all of a sudden, I hear a siren, and I look in the rearview mirror, and there's a fire truck behind me, and I, wow, a fire, and I better get over to the side of the road. Those guys are really in a hurry. I pull over to the side of the road, and, and it shoo, goes past me. And then I pull in here, and I, 
I see the fire truck. Where's the fire? <clears throat> Where? Where is the fire? We need a coffee. Oh. Uh, we don't do it often. No. Like, it's, it's, uh, no. it's not a frequent thing. You abused your siren. Abused our siren. Your siren abusers. <laughs> no patient in there? No. No patient, just a lot of traffic. Really? So you just put the siren on? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Now, the siren abuser. It's not abuse. I, it's, more, it's more use. If word gets out that all of you people are just putting sirens on to get to places faster, nobody's going to pull over to the side of the road anymore. And then you know what's going to happen? You're going to have some dead people. Got to get these inside, sir. Oh, of course. Enjoy your coffee. According to this doctor, uh, he said I didn't need to get the surgery. Yeah. So I think it's worth giving a shot, no? Well, good luck oh, with come your... come on, uh... don't, 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 don't be mad. Come on. Mad? I'm not mad. I'm just... Uh, uh, you're, 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 you're a little peeves. Well, good luck in your journey, Larry, and uh, I wish you and your knee all the best. I have a few patients I need to see, so if you don't mind. Okay, let's do the surgery. No, I'm not. I'm not doing the surgery, Larry. What? I'm come on, doing... come on. We'll do the surgery. You got no surgery for me. Nothing. Not a. Not a stitch. You understand me? I don't want anything to do with you or your knee. Come on. I said I'll get the surgery. No. Let me just get the surgery. Come on. No don't surgery. be like that. Like what? I'm Larry? sorry. No. I was good. Sorry's not good enough. Well, why are you acting like such a baby? I'm the baby. You're the one going around okay. town getting a bunch of opinions. Okay. You know what? I don't need any more opinions. Okay. okay. You just be on the record, though. That I said I'd get the surgery. It's on the you record. You don't want to give it to Thank me. Thank you. You blew it! I don't know why everyone wanted me in the first place. You sickened me! Oh. Oh, really? I'm on to you. It's not gonna happen. Abuse that siren all you want. I'm not pulling over. I just wish we would have gotten here sooner. Some asshole didn't respect the siren. What happened? What the hell? What did you do? I didn't do anything. What did you do?